Alright guys, welcome back to part 2. So in this part we have prepared our aircraft and we are ready to push back from the gate. Reminder, I'm not using any traffic, any ATC for today's flight. It's just gonna be us and the world. And the reason for that, let's not be distracted for by anything else. Let's just focus on learning how to fly with the Phoenix Airbus. Alright, so I, I assume you have followed my first video. You have prepared your aircraft. Uh, you can either do same uh, exact plan, flight plan as I'm doing in order to practice or you can do any other flight plan of your choice, it doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to you how you will follow up with my videos, okay? The, my goal is to make it as easy as possible as I mentioned in my previous video, so anybody can follow up easily without any complex scenarios and I'm trying to make sure that all of you newbies are ready to learn to fly with Phoenix aircraft or specifically Airbus. All right, guys, so we are ready to push back. So what do we do next? We can turn on our beacon on the light over here, which is located right over here, beacon. So we press on it once, it turns beacon light on. Now, I believe that if I do that, my GSX may trigger and it did. Because I do have GSX installed and I was not bothering by using the GSX for loading up the aircraft, but as, I, as soon as I do click on beacon light on, it does actually trigger GSX pushback, right? So that's fine. Uh, once we do that over here, the next thing would be make sure to turn the crank start ignition button to ignition start position. I have it on my uh, thrust quadrant, so I'm just gonna put it on ignition start position, okay, right here. In the middle section panel, change it to engine, so you can see the engine information during the pushback and engine start. Make sure your uh, parking brake is set to on, which it is in my case. And now we are waiting for pin to be inserted and basically the further pushback uh, messages and we can select which way we want to be pushed back and during the pushback if it's not ice in condition which it is not doesn't seem like we can actually start with the engine uh, startup so i'm gonna shortly follow how to do it super easy process just follow my video you'll be able to do exactly same So our pushback track is on the place and sometimes I do have to click on GSX for some reason and then continue pushback. It's going to give me some uh, options. So I'm going to do facing southwest, that's perfectly fine, it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm gonna click on it once and release parking brakes. So, let's release parking brakes in order for them to be able to push us back. I'm gonna have to do that. Commencing push. All engines clear, start at your will. So, we are being pushed back and we can start with the engine start. So, in Airbus usually it starts with engine number two. Again, I'm gonna control it with my uh, Thrustmaster Quadrant. I'm gonna press or push the button up. Engine number two goes up, and you can be not. You can be monitoring that over here. As in a moment, you will see this going up, increasing basically, and you will also hear the rumble of the engine. You may not hear it in the video, but basically, if you play on your computer, you will hear the engine number two, which is on this side, on the right hand side. Notice the number is increasing slowly. Okay, in position please set parking brakes, so let's do that. Now the GSX in this case is waiting for a confirmation of good engine start, so I'll wait a little bit until I have both engines started. Okay, 
basically what we are doing now, we are waiting until it says avail. So it's available now. It says avail. So we can continue with engine number one into on position. Okay. And now we are going to wait for the other engine to be started. As I can see, it's increasing. I can already confirm. Confirm good engine start so they can disconnect the pushback track. Can check some views. <clears throat> so the value on the engine number one is increasing slowly. Increasing over here, as you can see. Again, make sure your parking brake is set on. Alright, so our GSX is done. The pushback tack left. And the ground crew is leaving the area as well. So, we can continue with our setup. Now we are basically engine started. What we can do next is this uh, ignition button. Just turn it back into normal mode, right here. Then we can go up here and turn off the APU by pressing in opposite position than in the beginning. Pressing APU bleed first and pressing master switch once. You don't have to press this one, it will disappear by itself. And we can turn on taxi light into middle position. So this is the no taxi light switch, middle position. We can notify the cabin. Then we can press the runway turn on lights and the strobe into auto position. As I believe this is the requirement. But I could be wrong, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it should be in auto position if I remember well. So here we are pretty much done. Then the next thing is to make sure this is a cabin crew calling us right here. So in order to answer, you just press this. They're basically telling us that the cabin... The cabin is now secure for takeoff. There you go. Cabin is secure. Alright. So, very important part, guys. Auto brake needs to be set on max. Alright? Before you start taxiing, set it on max. That's the one thing. Remember our flaps. So, position one. If I look from the window... I press the whatever key assignment you have for your flaps. Put them in the position one. You can check control surfaces with your side stick or whatever you're using. So it also confirms over here. One plus F. Alright, that's your flaps. Now this display here, it's telling you what still is missing pretty much. So our spoilers, they need to be armed. You see how it's blue? That's why they say uh, during the check, they say no blue. That's what they mean. So we have to go here and then we have to arm them. How to arm them? You have to pull this up. When you see this little white thing, it means it's armed. It disappeared. That means that our spoilers are armed. And also it says test TO config. How to do it? Well, all you have to do, press this TO config in the middle console right over here. If I press it once, It'll test everything and basically it doesn't show me any blue, right? So I'm pretty much ready to taxi. So, as we are ready to taxi, I am familiar with this airport very well. I know where the runway is. Uh, but once you get comfortable with flying uh, with Phoenix or any Airbuses, you can of course use all the traffic, ATC and follow the procedures. All right, so when you're ready to taxi, Release the parking brake. Uh, ever so slightly add some power. And we start moving. Do not taxi too fast. Uh, shouldn't be anything more than 30 knots, if I'm not mistaken. And let's taxi tower, uh, towards our runway. <laughs> 